I've got another update for you guys on ratings for the Olympics. We touched on this a bit on Sunday, talked about the ratings for the opening ceremony on Friday. Today, I've got the complete ratings for you from this past weekend, Friday through Sunday. We're going to continue to cover the ratings for the Olympics over the next couple of weeks. I believe this is going to be the least watched Olympics of my lifetime. And no, it's not because of the time difference. The woke media is already using that as an excuse as to why ratings are so low. Time has always been an issue with certain Olympics. The 2012 Games, they were held in London. Depending on what side of the country you live on, London's either five or eight hours ahead of us here in America. Yet somehow, they managed to draw 28, 30 million viewers. The time difference does have a little bit of impact, but it is not the reason for the massive drop in viewership. The media is also blaming the COVID. Japan's not allowing people to attend the events. Hell, they are so damn strict over there, they're not allowing friends and family members into the country in some cases. It's having an effect on the athletes. I believe it's the reason Simone Biles said earlier that she wasn't in the right mental space to be in the competition she pulled out. She said there was a lot of added stress to the Olympics this year. Which, by the way, this story literally just broke as I was preparing this video. Did you guys hear what Doug Gottlieb said about Simone Biles? First of all, Simone Biles is one of the few big names that America can truly get behind in the Olympics this year. She's actually a great representation of America, proud to represent her country, unlike some of these other bums we have representing us who shove their anti-patriotism in our faces them called disrespecting the national anthem and disrespecting the flag, exercising their right to free speech. Doug Gottlieb claims that there is a double standard when it comes to Simone Biles. Let me just give you his direct quote. There's an old saying that in the land of the blind, the man with one eye is king. You're about to see Doug Gottlieb is living in the land of the blind. I'm the guy with one eye. Quote, if we're okay with Simone Biles saying, hey, couldn't go tonight, mental health, are we going to be okay if LeBron James says the same thing? She's the greatest gymnast going. He's the greatest basketball player going. Why do we have sympathy for Simone Biles, but we wouldn't have sympathy for LeBron James? It's called a double standard, end quote. First of all, LeBron James is not the greatest basketball player in the world today. That would be Kevin Durant. Number two, Doug Gottlieb is right. He's right. It is a double standard. There's a reason, though. There is a reason Americans have sympathy for Simone Biles and absolutely no sympathy for LeBron James. Simone Biles is a true American. LeBron James is a woke social justice warrior. I've said it on here a thousand times. People don't have sympathy. People don't have respect for SJWs. So if LeBron checked out of a game for mental health, I am sure there would be a lot of people that were critical of him for it. Not just that, people with common sense will criticize LeBron James for any number of things. By going woke, he removed the luxury of being given the benefit of the doubt. Why would anyone in America have sympathy or compassion for LeBron James? when he turned his damn back on us. That's not hard to understand, is it? I mean, seems like a pretty easy concept to grasp to me. Let's get to the most up-to-date ratings for the Olympics. The three-day average from last weekend, Friday through Sunday, the Olympics averaged 15.8 million viewers. This includes streaming numbers, which is estimated to be less than 700,000 people who watched via Peacock. This, of course, is absolutely god-awful. The 2016 Olympics in Rio averaged over 27 million people opening weekend. There is no other way to spin this. The excuse that millions of people got rid of cable and satellite doesn't work anymore. Streaming numbers are included. The reason people refuse to watch the Olympics is woke politics. This disease destroys everything it touches. NBC has lost over 12 million viewers in the span of five years, 
And there is only one major difference from 2016 to 2021. The disease. I'll prove it to you. I will prove this to you. Now, to be transparent, I am not an expert in Japanese media. All I'm going off of is what I found on the internet. So this information might be right. It might be wrong. I'm just putting that out there. From everything that I have found and read online, J Japan is not infected with the woke disease, at least not to the rate that we are infected here in America. The media in Japan is not constantly pushing the woke agenda on the public. As a matter of fact, last summer, Black Lives Matter was pushing the Japanese to confront their inherent racism because, you know, like us white people, the Japanese are inherently racist too. Now, from what I can tell, the BLM agenda was largely rejected by the Japanese. Like I said, I'm not an expert. That's just what I have found. All right, with that being said, ratings for the Olympics in Japan have been the opposite of ratings in America. Now, you have to remember, the Japanese public was against the Olympics taking place. Something like 20% of the public in Japan supported going through with the Olympics. They thought it should be canceled. The Kanto region in Japan includes Tokyo and the surrounding area. In the Kanto region Friday night, the opening ceremony was watched by 56.4% of the population. Ratings peaked at 61% several times throughout the ceremony. I wonder why. Could it be the Japanese have athletes that actually like and want to support? Athletes who aren't ashamed to represent their country? Athletes who actually stand and salute their flag instead of put a towel over their head and turn their back on it? We talked Sunday about NBC possibly having to give advertisers free time in the future because they're not reaching the guaranteed audience promised. If I had to guess, that possibility is becoming a stark reality for NBC. There's no way they projected an audience this low. There's plenty of blame to go around, but a lot of the blame for the low ratings should also be given to the media. Over the last couple of months, think about the Olympic athletes that the media has promoted. Going into the Olympics, who were the two biggest names in the media? Megan Rapino and Gwen Berry. Gwen Berry was an unknown until a month or two ago. No one knew her name. If someone in a bar said Gwen Berry, you would think they were ordering a drink for their girlfriend. Megan Rapino, Rapino, however the hell you pronounce her name, she had a little bit of a following, but nothing like she's gained over the last year or so. The media has constantly promoted these two women because they represent the agenda. Problem is, the majority of Americans refuse to support them. If you look at the demographics of the audience for the Olympics, it tends to be a more conservative audience. You know who watches the Olympics? Suburban white women, older white men, people like my parents, my sister. They love the Olympics. People in the military. My point is, the Olympic audience is made up of people who are watching to support their country. It's made up of people who love America. And what happened? The media fed them two of the most anti-American people in the competition. Megan Rapino doesn't represent middle America. Gwen Berry damn sure doesn't. The target audience of the Olympics, they don't have anyone to support. Some, some will watch for the basketball tournament. There are people out there who don't like watching the NBA, but will still watch NBA players every four years represent America. That's not happening this year. And it's not the fault of the players on the roster, at least I don't think so. You look at the roster of Team USA, I wouldn't consider any of those players to be woke. I mean, they might be, but they're not publicly pushing it. Maybe Jason Tatum? But guys like Drew Holiday, I don't consider him to be woke. Kevin Durant, Dame Lillard? People are refusing to watch Team USA basketball because LeBron James has tainted the entire NBA. Not only are people refusing to watch, Americans are actually happy that they're losing. It's the same with the women's soccer team. You have Americans pulling for their own country to lose. And who the hell can blame them? Saturday night, Donald Trump held a rally in Phoenix. At one point, he mentioned the women's soccer team and their 3-0 loss to Sweden. Donald Trump said much of what I say here every day. 
that woke politics sucks the life out of everything. It ruins everything it touches. He mentioned Americans being happy about the U.S. women's team losing, and the audience erupted into applause. Now, of course, NBC4 in New York, they tried to claim Donald Trump encouraged the audience to boo the women's soccer team. I watched the video myself. That did not happen. The people in the crowd did that of their own volition. Another example of the woke media trying to disguise the disdain Americans have for their agenda. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. In summary, the Olympics are a disaster. We all know why the ratings are in decline. The media, they remain in denial. They're going to continue to blame any and everything but the real culprit. We will continue covering the ratings right here on the channel. But it's time to let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts on the ratings for the Olympics. And I really want to know what you think of Doug Gottlieb and his comments on Simone Biles and LeBron James, the whole double standard. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.